Let's get you now uh, to the latest on the refinery strike in Martinez. Night Beats Mark Kelly tells us because of the dispute, you might see some flaring tonight. This flaring at the Chevron refinery in December scared many half to death. Expect the same flame over to Soro in the next 24 hours. Union rep Jim Payne explains why. Well, they're in the process of shutting the plant down now. It's a complex operation that takes a while. But by Thursday, it's not going to be making gasoline anymore. Is that right? Correct. When the plant shuts down, the release of gases and extra pressure create the large flame. After hundreds of United Steel workers walked out yesterday morning, the refinery had no choice but to close. How long do you think this could go on? Don't know. The, the last strike we had in the industry lasted over three months. So what will that mean for gas prices? Severin Borenstein tracks the industry. Refineries do have backup plans. They'll be able to keep producing in the short run. If the strike goes for a long time, though, we might start to run into that problem. That problem is higher prices. Pumping isn't too painful now, but drivers are feeling like the good times won't last much longer. It's about time. It keeps getting lower, but I'm just like waiting for the second foot to drop. Union leaders telling me late tonight that this afternoon they failed to reach a deal with Shell Oil Company, the lead negotiator in this bargaining agreement. So, Veronica, that means it is back to the picket lines tomorrow. Yeah, but Mark, uh, isn't this whole thing part of a, of a nationwide strike? It absolutely is nationwide. 400 workers here at the Tesoro Refinery in Martinez. But 4,000 members of the United Steelworkers Union on strike at nine different refineries nationwide. But, Veronica, they're mostly in Texas and right here in California. Mm. All right, Mark Kelly, live for us there in Martinez. Mark, thank you.